No matter where you live on campus, you'll be close to all the action. Classroom buildings and campus resources are never far away. Our data shows that simply living on campus makes you more likely to have a higher GPA and more likely to graduate. We are committed to student success both inside and outside the classroom. Although each residence hall is unique, there are a few elements that are common in every hall. Each building has live-in staff members to help you along your university journey. There are undergraduate students serving as resident assistants on each floor. Your RA is there to help you transition to college and support you during the year with floor events and individual connections. We also have graduate students serving as assistant hall directors and full-time master's level professional hall directors that live in the building with you. All these live-in staff members are here to support you. There is always someone available to assist any time of day. All of our buildings have several safety features. Entrance doors are on a card access system. Your access card will allow you to enter different parts of your assigned building. All living areas and shared community spaces have smoke or heat detectors. All bedrooms have fire retardant mattresses and drapes. All of our residence halls have sprinkler systems and our fire systems are tested annually. These features support our commitment to well-maintained facilities. Now that we've covered some things that are in every residence hall, let's get a closer look at them individually to see what makes them unique. Welcome to Scholar's House. Scholar's House is a three-story residence hall comprised of four-person suites, each with ensuite bathrooms. As you enter the main lobby, you can interact with the front desk, operated 24 hours a day by full-time staff members as well as student workers. The front desk is where you can send and receive mail or packages, or check out sporting equipment, cleaning supplies, and kitchen equipment purchased by the building's hall council. You can also submit a work order or just have a question answered. The lobby of Scholar's House features space for gathering and working. During the year, it's common to have students here at any time of day, studying, catching up with one another. When it's time for meals, meet your new friends in the lobby and make the short trip to Garst Dining Center adjacent to Scholar's. Your meal plan also gives you access to Blair Shannon Dining Center. The dining dollars component of your meal plan can be used at the food vendors at the Posture Student Union, Meyer Library, and Glass Hall. The Scholar's House Computer Lab is located just off the main lobby. You'll have access to the computer lab 24 hours a day. If you have computing issues while living on campus, contact the ResNet staff. Similar to the Campus Help Desk, ResNet is a group of students and professional staff that can assist you with your computing needs. Unlike the Campus Help Desk, ResNet is just for students that live on campus. Just off the main lobby is a community area. There is space to study as well as space to socialize. There are soft seating couches and a common area TV. There is a ping pong table, pool table, and foosball table. You can borrow the needed equipment to play from the front desk or use your own. The community kitchen is equipped with a microwave, full refrigerator, and oven. The kitchen is a shared space, so please help us keep it clean and ready for your neighbors to use. Just down the hall from the main lobby is the laundry room, available 24 hours a day. There is no need for coins as laundry is free. Just be sure to bring your own detergent and softener. Scholar's House has two music practice rooms and an art space. Keys for these spaces are kept at the front desk for you to check out with your BearPass ID. Each suite has a shared area, vanity, bathroom, and two bedrooms. The shared area has a mid-sized refrigerator, microwave, a table with four chairs, and some soft seating. The vanity area has a large mirror, sink, and some storage. The bathroom door has a full-length mirror on the outside and a standard toilet and standing shower inside. The bed frames have built-in pegs allowing them to be bunked. These are 80-inch, extra-long, twin-sized mattresses. You and your roommate will each have a wardrobe with drawers. There is also a large chest of drawers to share. Each of you will have a desk with drawer space and an additional shelf above. There is also a mini-fridge in each bedroom. When connecting to the internet, you can either use the wireless network or an ethernet connection. There are two ethernet ports in each room. We recommend that you use the ethernet port for gaming or high quality streaming. We also have the MSU home device network, which will allow you to connect wireless devices such as an Amazon Echo using a pre-shared key. We cut the cord and moved away from traditional cable. Students can watch TV on their computer, tablet, phone, or a TV by way of Roku. We recommend the Roku Ultra. You can stream over 80 channels using any internet-capable device while on campus. Your Philo account gives you access to HBO Go, Cinemax Go, and 20 hours of recording time. 
If you have a favorite show that comes on while you're in class, set it to record and watch it later. The best part is that you and your roommate can be watching two different shows at the same time on your individual Philo accounts. If you are looking to be involved while living on campus, consider joining Hall Council. Similar to student government, Hall Council is a great way to gain leadership experience. Each Hall Council holds events for the residents of their building during the year. They also purchase items that can be borrowed from the front desk. When you live on campus, you are a part of the larger Residence Hall Association student organization. Consider attending a meeting to have your voice heard or go to one of their campus-wide events during the year. We are committed to creating communities where students can build and maintain connections with each other and the university. Finally, consider being a part of a living learning community. We have communities for students in similar majors as well as for students with similar interests. Living learning communities are a wonderful way to enhance your already great decision to live on campus. We hope you enjoyed your tour. We look forward to seeing you soon.